What's up peeps? Today I'm here to share with you three new to me summer recipes that are quick, easy, and you can meal prep ahead of time that are good to last in the fridge or the freezer for a few days to a few weeks. So make sure you stick around and I will show you all three recipes, how I made them, how they turned out, and whether or not I will be making them again. First up, for the shrimp rice bowls, guess what? You gotta make your rice. I always start with whatever takes the longest, so obviously rice. If you are planning on making another rice dish in the week, make double rice and then just keep it in the fridge. Little meal prep tip. I'm just gonna chop up some fresh produce here to add to my rice bowl, and I'm kinda making these however people want. So I'm just gonna put the ingredients out and everyone can add whatever. So I'm gonna do some fresh cucumber, as well as some matchstick carrots, and my husband can never find these in the grocery store. There they are, they exist, honey. Matchstick carrots. And then I'm also gonna add in some green onion as well. Next, I'm just taking the tails and shells off my shrimp. You can use pre-cooked shrimp as well. I just find when it's reheated, it often goes a little bit tough, so that's why I buy raw. But you can use whatever kind you want, large, small, whatever. Make it yours. I just patted these bad boys dry with a paper towel and added some salt and pepper for seasoning. For sauces, I've got this jalapeno lime aioli that I get from Costco, highly recommend. I put this on everything. And then for the kids, a less spicy version is going to be this hoisin sauce I'm gonna use for them as well as some soy sauce. But this recipe is called Bang Bang Shrimp. And as far as I can tell, Bang Bang Sauce is really just mayonnaise mixed with as much sriracha as your taste buds can handle. So I'm gonna make that for my husband because he likes spicy. So then you just layer your bowl. You start with your rice, add your shrimp, and then whatever toppings you want. I also added some white sesame seeds as well and some pe green peas for the kids. But this was my bowl and it turned out amazing. These are so easy to whip up and they store in the fridge for great meal prep. And this is my husband's. He wanted to know if his looked better. So let me know down in the comments below whose bowl looks better. So next up, I already make a version of this, but I wanted to make it more low carb and a little bit lighter. So I took some cream cheese, some Greek yogurt, and taco seasoning, mixed that all together, and then in a casserole dish sprayed with nonstick spray, I'm just adding some shredded chicken, and then I'm gonna throw this cream cheese mixture right on top. And then you can add whatever toppings you want. I chose a variety of colors of peppers, as well as some mushroom and some onion. Next up, the name says it all, it's salsa cheddar chicken, so we're gonna need some salsa. We just use medium salsa, that's what all our family likes, but you can use whatever you want. Drizzle as much or as little as you want over top, and that's salsa cheddar chicken. In the last five minutes of cooking time, I just added some cheddar cheese, and look at this beauty. This was super good. My daughter especially loved this, even the peppers she ate when I cut it up small enough. So I would highly, highly recommend this. It was fantastic. All right, peeps, last up is this zucchini bread. And this recipe is awesome because it automatically makes two loaves. You can obviously half this if you only want one, but trust me, you'll want two. <laughs> so I started off with grating some fresh zucchini. My zucchini was fairly large, so I ended up only needing one. But if you have smaller ones, obviously, you'll probably need two, maybe three, depending on the size. Then to a bowl, I added some white sugar, brown sugar, and some vegetable oil. You can also use applesauce in place of vegetable oil, or whatever kind of oil, I don't think it really matters, as well as some vanilla extract. I added some eggs and then mixed this all together, and as usual, I'll have the recipe linked down below for you peeps, so you can follow along down there. 
I mixed some flour and I used whole wheat flour because that's all I had. Um, it didn't seem to make much of a difference. And then some nutmeg, some salt, baking powder, baking soda, and you will see some cinnamon. We don't measure cinnamon in this house, we just dump it in. <laughs> Next, you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients and mix until combined. Now, this batter is quite thick, so if you have a stand mixer, that might be a good idea to bust out for this one. I did not, but uh, will in the future when I make this again, definitely. Next, you add in your zucchini and mix that all in. I sprayed my two loaf pans with non-stick cooking spray and don't be like me and spray it over your glass stove top because that was fun to clean. I sprinkled one loaf with some cinnamon sugar that I had on hand, definitely recommend. The other one I just left plain. Not only did this bread smell amazing, but it also tasted amazing. It was super moist, lovely, perfect for heating up with a little bit of butter or peanut butter, and it was fantastic. If you saw my recent meal prep video, you'll see exactly how I froze this. It freezes super well, and my kids ate it. So this was a win in my books. Well, there you have it, peeps. I hope you enjoyed all three of these super simple, new to me summer recipes that were quick, easy, and relatively healthy. I mean, there's some greens in there. Stay tuned for the next video.